to the channel in today's video as I promised you before in the previous video it will be about me telling you the best books in terms of their resources and their support for four subjects and these four subjects are the three sciences of so physics biology chemistry as well as math the reason I'm not going to be doing English literature or English language is because they are going to be the same brand as the one uh, all of the three sciences so you can check it out and it's probably gonna have the same resources but just to tell you they're gonna come in three you can get them in a bundle um, from these wholesaler shops and they come in like as exam practice in English literature um, revision guide and English language revision guide so before we get into the video there's some things I would like you to do leave a like if you enjoy this video comment down below on improvements suggestions as well as video content you would like me to upload later uh, of course it has to be educational but it can be something different um, like I did on Rubik's Cube uh, and if it's interesting I'll do it and subscribe um, because I want to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 so um, let's make that possible so let's get into the video okay so basically books are really important for us uh, in terms of knowledge uh, we go to school um, but of course you need to have the books that can really help you get the best grades now of course you might probably be thinking that I'm gonna talk about CGP science books and they're actually not I believe that they're not the most effective um, yes they add in some comedy they're colorful um, but the reason I just don't like them is the way that when I start reading it's just too much there's too much information at once it's just packed with pages and pages with all writing there's not even a single picture and if there are pictures or diagrams they're probably at the bottom of the page and they're not good enough now I'm not complaining for all types of CGP books I'm saying certainly for each of the um, science subjects I, I love CGP anyway I've been using them all throughout the pr my primary years um, I use some of them uh, for French um, I'm considering taking it to GCSEs and I sometimes use a math one as well when I'm revising for a test I try to use as many resources as possible but the brand that I believe of books that are really good for sciences is Scholastic uh, GCSE now you probably might have heard of it or might have not but it's a really good brand I found it out while searching for a science book because I didn't have one I didn't want to use the ones that my other siblings used because I just didn't believe they were that effective so I went online and I found it out it's relatively cheap one book you can get for like £2.95 which is very cheap considering the amount of resources give each book gives you as a bundle revision guide and exam practice and this is much better than CGP because the CGP you get revision guide but you have to put, uh, like buy um, another exam practice or past paper book separately so the good thing about uh, Scholastic is they give it as a bundle and they've got many more sources such as work it snap it and use it so work is basically um, questions at the end of the page uh, they've got snap it so basically a summary of the whole page so you can take a picture with anything or mm, relatively a phone so whenever you're traveling to school whenever you've got free time or when you're revising for a text you can look at those quick pictures and you can get like a summary of the page and you've also got use it so key diagrams uh, keywords, key phrases that you probably might need to use in exams. If you they give you tips as well. So before you, like you open up the book, they say how to revise effectively. There's a huge page on that. Um, and let me just show you the book right now. So I've got the biology one. Of course, I have the chemistry and um, physics, but I'll just got this right now. And if you can see, this is the book. So it's pretty chunky. Um, it's got the right there, and as I was talking about, it's got. The work it, nail it, and use it. I think it was using. No, do it. Sorry, um, and it's really amazing. Um, there's so much in there. There's exam questions in there as well, um, and it's really like it, it. Basically, it doesn't um, include as much text, as much writing as CGP does, but I still believe that I learn the same amount or even a bit more. Um, I used to use CGP a lot, um, so I have the. I have. Um, the experience and I can like compare it and I still believe these are the most effective now you can get them in a uh, in like a pack of three for six pounds if my calculations are correct you can buy them from the scholastic own website you have to pay for the postage you can get from Amazon's everything's about the same price and the next um, subject I wanted to talk about was maths now this book is uh, like the uh, the specific brand book that I got is from my school so of course I didn't want to buy a CGP book but if I did I would recommend the CGP books uh, CGP a deck so just you see nine to one higher level and um, that's the one I'm currently doing if you're doing a different um different board I th still think CGP would be the most effective though they give the revision guide and exam practice books separately so does the one that I'm using right now so it doesn't really matter and they're really good at explaining and I really do think that I should have a revision guide for maths because I only have the workbook for maths and I still don't believe that's really effective because when I got tests 
and say I'm looking through my own exercise books of school I sometimes don't take all the notes and I'm kind of worried and I watch so many YouTube videos and go on websites and I finally figure out but I still believe if I had one revision guide then I would be able to do that much quicker so um, this is the book I have it's Pearson Revise you can see right now that's Pearson Maths Adexo. So uh, it's, it's just a revision book um, and it's got the same stuff, it's just like a one-to-one -one revision content um, workbook. So every single page you have in the revision guide, which I don't have with me right now, there will be questions on it. Um, they also give you these two things about hot topics and uh, tricky topics or hot topics, the ones that are most likely to come into the GCSE exams and tricky topics, the one that most students don't really well, struggle on. And um, they give you extra tips as well so in the workbook. And... Um, and that's basically it. So that's the four subjects I wanted to talk about. Of course, I talked about mainly two, biology and maths. But of course, I said chemistry and physics are basically the same books, uh, just different colours. And English, um, it comes in a, a bundle of three, as I said, same scholastic. Um, I haven't started using it yet because my English literature and English language course officially starts in September when I'm going to be in year 10. So I'm kind of early. I got the book early, but it's really good to have it because now in the summer, I can review it and um, I can be... At, uh, have a head start so yeah that was basically it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video um it was about the best books for gcsc subscribe so you are tuned for more videos i have so much more content that's going to come up maybe a day in the life how to stay productive uh, resources and how to manage time flashcards so much so it would be really good if you subscribe remember i won 1000 subscribers by 2021 so let's make that happen leave a comment uh, leave a comment down below on uh, improvements and suggestions leave a like if you like this video and i think i covered everything for today uh, and uh, i'll catch you in the next one